everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Little Big Adventure 2, Twin Sims Odyssey, Part 19. Last time, we left off on the island of the Francos. We were coming to go fetch ja uh, Gazogem for Baldino, and we heard that the refinery was here on the island of the Francos. Now we have this guard here, doing his duty. This is, in fact, where you get Gazogem. The building looks rather small, but you'll see that is, in fact, deceiving. As this is our next real dungeon crawl of the game. You'll see we have these valves here. They turn off steam. So we have to get across these two things. Whatever they might be. They blast steam though. Now if we hit this one, that guy over there is gonna go change it back. Now it only takes about three hits to kill him. Give me real pain. You can see there's no more steam. So we can make a running leap across. And then get as close as we can to the edge here to jump. And we made it. So that's essentially the way this is going to work. We find valves, we turn them, try to get to the next door. Gazer Gem is at the end of this place. The thing about these guards is they don't really go on the moving platforms, so generally you'll be safe if you stay on these. They'll still try to hit you, of course, so you know, stay out of range. So let's see what happens when I hit this one. Oh, it turned on the ones in front of the door. I don't think I want to hit that one. It's very easy to hurt yourself and die. If you jump into that green, greenish blue liquid, you will also die. So, I'll hit this one with the ball. I don't really know how that helps. Yeah. It does do quite a bit of damage to get hit by the steam, so be careful. So, next room. More valves. That one turns off the one at the bottom right there. Or left, I should say. This one switches it to being the bottom spray. And you can just jump over it. So let's check out this little alcove that we uh, unblocked, I suppose. Now you can see we have little item containers in here, much like the mushrooms back on Twinsome. Except, of course, everything's more mechanical themed here. We have uh, nuts and bolts instead of mushrooms. Everything on Zealish does seem a lot more advanced, but it's just so grey. All right, so we've got to go that way to get the key for that door. But we'll want to deal with this guard first. It's really anyone getting in our way is going to be a problem. I mean, we've got a mission to carry out, and we're ar we've already been branded as a murderer, so I, you know, can't go wrong murdering a few more people. Alright, so let's make a leap of faith here. Alright, now we walk very slowly. It's very easy to fall in in this kind of viewpoint. So you can't rotate the camera. So this bit's tricky. Now I'm not the best at timing these things, as evidenced by that. But there, only one minor mishap. Good job, Twitson. That key can fall to places that's hard to reach, so good thing for the ball. 
Yeah, they don't generally follow you up steps. Either. These guys aren't very good at their jobs. Just... Just saying. But he had a key on him, so... Clearly we had to kill him. I mean, it, it, it's out of our control. He, he had a key. Oops. Can't just do it once. So much steam. Alright. Now remember, change the trajectory of our ball with our behavior. It's one lesson you should never forget. cheap way you can do this. Yep. Yep. I won't judge you if you do. Now, this is something I always learn to do. Doesn't seem to bother you there when you're in sneak mode. And we have another little alcove over here. You gotta jump inside this one. Much quieter without all that steam. Okay, so that vent right below us is going to bust out some steam. So don't land directly there. This room, we've got some dogs. Guard and engineer. The dogs seem to be fighting each other. And that'll turn off the uh, three vents in the area, I believe. Let's see if we can hit this guy from up here. I can. Easy peasy. However, this door is locked. And Twinson's lockpicking skill, not high on his list of priorities. So, we're gonna have to kill that engineer, presumably. Oh, I missed. So what you have to do is jump on that vent over there, in the top right. And just, whenever the engineer walks by, just wail on him with anything you got. If you have the Ring of Lightning, you can also use that here. But your magic ball, as usual, will probably work just fine. It does take a while, though. You really only get one hit on him before he's gone again. Or two if you're lucky. Maybe even three if you're me. But now we have to go through these dogs. Luckily they don't seem to leave a cage, so you can just sort of walk in here and just start wailing on them. Silly fish bowls. And now this might seem kinda gross, and it is. I mean you're walking you're walking through exactly what you think you are. But would you turn down a life? I don't think so. This is gonna let off steam when we go by. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly I couldn't demonstrate that. See, it'll also hit him. Ah, but I shouldn't have hit that because now he can run freely. And we have another locked door, unfortunately. He's probably holding the keys. He's the only one out and about right now. Let's dispatch of him. Now, did I turn that off or not? Eternal question. Let's hit that again to make sure. And we're good. Come on, man. Let's fight. I do so love my spell of protection. But there it is, up here. Our low res. You just found a can of Gazo Gem. Yeah. This fuel will allow you to get your new super jet pack. A super jet pack? Well, that sounds amazing. So, alright. That's one objective complete. We did it, gang. And you'd think that you'd be able to jump up here from back here. You can't. I've tried. Many times. Apparently I can't jump down either. 
I seem, I appear to be stuck. There we go. Now to get out, same way as getting in. You don't want to take on those guards over there. We have no reason to yet. Instead, you jump on these barrels and jump out. So next time, we'll be heading back to Otringal. We will be giving the Gazo Gem to Baldino. And, uh... We'll see if the people of Ultra Girl still like us. As Celebration Island, they seem to think we were a murderer, which we kind of maybe are. But again, what can we do? I mean, we're just trying to save our planet. We were the hero of our planet once before, we will be again. And Zealish won't stop us from doing that. So I'll see you next time on Let's Play a Little Big Adventure 2 Twinsons Odyssey. See you then.